Hello! My name is Emily and I'm from the Delaware Museum of Natural History. Today we're going to be making some St. Patty's Day hats for you and your friends. So you need to start with some basic materials. We have some construction paper. We have ribbon to tie the hat around your head. We have um, little cuts of black construction paper to go with the rim of the hat. We have a ruler in case you want to be exact with things, scissors, and hot glue. But if you're under 12, uh, make sure you have a parent to do the hot gluing with you. <laughs> and also, you'll need a cup. That's going to be the basic part of your hat. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, trace some circles, which I've already done. So you can use the rim of the cup to trace this first circle that's just gonna cover this part of the hat. And then you'll need a circle that's a little bit larger than that one to make this base of the hat. Then after you've traced the circles, then what you're gonna do is start gluing the cup to the construction paper. So what I learned was it's way best to just do it this way. Um, so that you get all of the edges covered. So I'm going to do that with you now. So kind of just start from the corner. I just put some glue on the edge there and I'm just attaching it diagonally to the cup and adding glue as I go. That way there's no bubbles or bumps in your hat. Keep it rolling. Now, if you don't have construction paper at home, you can also use regular paper and then just color it green. So there are some fun ideas. We also have pipe cleaners um, that we are using for the little buckle part in the front. But if you don't have pipe cleaners, you could also just use a yellow construction paper. So this craft is pretty, uh, Expansive. <laughs> anyway. Also, you can make lots of different hats for friends that might be smaller. So we have a friend here in Kanga. She is a bearded dragon. <laughs> She's not happy right now, so we might show her in a little bit. As you can see now that all of my paper is attached to the cup, there's lots of leftovers on both sides. So we're just gonna cut that off with some scissors. So you can start off kind of just getting the majority of the paper off, pretty messy. And then as you go, you just kind of align it with the top of the cup so it looks nice and neat. Now, smooth edge, smooth edge, mostly. Okay, there we go. All right, this is when you're gonna need your circles to cover the top and bottom. So I'm gonna use the smaller circle to cover the top. Now, the reason why I made the circle bigger was so that I could, um, well, for the top part, you can cut around it once it's already glued on. So it just makes it a little bit easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to want to uh, make sure that you put the glue around the edge of the cup just to make things easier for yourself. Okay. 
I'm just gonna place it right on there. Hold it still for a couple seconds. Just let it dry. And there were some places where it doesn't fully stick and you just add glue as you go. So if it dried, you kind of just add more. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the other side. Now this is the bigger circle because it's the base of the hat that goes on your head. So that you'll just put the cup directly in the center. And I'm running out of glue, so I'll just get some more. And the great thing about hot glue is that if it gets all over the place, you can kind of just peel it off if you make a mistake. There's little wisps here, but you can just kind of pull them off. top one you're going to just start to cut off some of the edges so that it's even okay. that's pretty good to me doesn't have to be perfect and then now you're gonna take this black strip. I did about um, an inch and a half on this side and then nine inches on this side, but depending on what size cup you have, it's gonna be smaller. Like this is like a little mini Dixie cup we used or just a regular size cup. All right, now for this part, I'm just gonna put glue on the top part of the strip. That way it's nice and even as I go and along one edge. So I'll kind of start here and then I'll try to just keep it even as I go around. And then for that last part, I'll just kind of glue the rest of it on there. Or you can cut it off. Okay, so now the last part I need is, well not the last part, one of the second to last parts is the little buckle part in the front. So I just use this sparkly um, pipe cleaner. You can get it at like any dollar store or you can use the yellow construction paper and just cut a square out. But I started in the middle and just kind of made a square. And you can measure it if you want to kind of have it go. Oops. Like this and then I layered it so you can kind of just wrap the pipe cleaner around
like that. And then you're just gonna super glue the bottom here. You can also make it thicker just by wrapping more pipe cleaner around it if you want. Pull off all the extra pieces. Okay, and I made this little fun one clover coming out of the top. That's an optional part. If you want to have something fun sticking out the top of your head, go for it. So, uh, how to make a clover with the um, pipe cleaner? All you do is you're gonna make just take a full pipe cleaner. You're gonna take the center and put a little bend in it. You're gonna make a heart shape. Okay, that's where the two pieces are gonna cross. And then you can kind of twist it to hold that heart in place. And then you're just gonna make two other hearts that are the same size. There's one side. And you can kind of fix it as it goes. And if you need extra pipe cleaner, you can always use more than one. Okay. Alright. That side's a little bit sad looking, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright. And then to um, attach something on here to make it stick off, you're just going to wrap another pipe cleaner around it. That would be the center. And then you're gonna gonna stick it on the top with some more hot glue. And you can Make it about this big. And then we come to our final part, the part that makes it stay on your head. So you need some ribbon, and my recommendation is to get ribbon that's not too thick. And you want to make sure that it fits across your head so you kind of measure it for size. And then cut after you measure your head. And then you'll just simply put a line of glue across the bottom. made a mistake earlier and I tried to put it on my head before the glue dried and then I got glue stuck to my head so don't do that. <laughs> make sure you let it dry. But you can make hats for your friends like my friend Morgan here is getting to wear a hat <laughs> and we even made one for our friend Kanka. Kanka look wow <laughs> she looks great. So super simple and fun to do. I hope you have a great St. Patty's Day, everybody. Bye. <laughs>